It's really important to understand the format of numbers when working in Excel because you'll be using numbers all the time. You'll need to make sure that the data is consistent and the way you pre present and report to your management is consistent and clear. Let's take a look at some examples. Each of these boxes is showing the same information. By the end of this video tutorial, the format of the numbers will all be different and you'll have a clear understanding of how to format the numbers. So, the first thing is, this is very messy. I've got numbers in these cells which I can't even read. First of all, the column isn't big enough. Now, when I widen the column, I can read the numbers. But unnecessarily, they have many decimal places. I'm happy with no decimal places. So I can go up here and change the amount of decimal places or do the same by right clicking and changing the decimal places. Done. I would also like a comma after the thousands so that I can clearly define between what would 1000 be and 10,000 just like this column here has it. How do I do that? Well a quick way is to highlight all the numbers and click the comma and get rid of the decimals. That puts a standard format of number into Excel. You can see that the minus on the negative numbers is now to the far left of the cell. I don't want it like that. So the best way to do it is to right click, go to Format Cells, Number, and make sure you're in the Number tab. Ensure the decimal places are to zero if you're not interested in the decimal places and ensure the comma is checked over there. So you can now choose whether you want the numbers as a certain color and how you want the minus sign. Well I just want it to appear as standard like this. So I'm going to select that option for negative numbers and hit OK. My numbers now look the same and the negative is there by the 431, not at the very left of the cell. We'll do the same thing for this column. Right click, Format Cells, Number, No Decimal Places, and this top option here. Really straightforward. However, the information I'm presenting here is actually in currency. Very simple. Just go down, right click, Format Cells, Make sure you're in the number category here. Choose currency. Select your symbol. We're going to use pounds. Zero decimal places. How would you like the negative numbers? Just like that. And OK. Let's do the same for dollars. Right click. Format cells. Currency. And now we need to find US dollars, no decimal places, and OK. So straight away now, I can see negatives with a minus sign next to them, and dollars right by the numbers. However, I'm not really happy with that either. I don't really want the minus sign there. In accounting, we would typically use brackets instead of a negative minus sign. So how do I get those on my numbers? Well, we'll do that over here. We'll right click, Format Cells, and go to Custom. Now in Custom, I can type in how I want the format of the cell. Let's choose a predefined custom format here. I'm going to choose that and press OK and that's how it's now formatted my numbers but it hasn't put the brackets around here so in order to understand what to do we need to understand how the customization is working so if I right click and go to format cells I'm going to edit this now everything to the left of this semicolon here represents what we want for a positive number. Everything to the right represents a negative number. 
So for a negative number, I would like the figures in red, so I'll leave that in red there, but I don't want the minus sign. I really want brackets, so I remove the minus sign and put brackets around what is defining the number, which are these hashes and the zero. And the comma is in place. If I remove the comma, that will remove the comma from here. So let's OK that. Perfect. The negative is now in red and has brackets around it. Let's do the same for US dollars. Format the cells. Custom. I'm going to choose something with red and put the brackets around just like that and OK that. It's that simple. What about the zeros? I know how to format the positives, the negatives, but I'm not clear on the zero. Well, let's go down here, choose the zeros, format cells, custom, We'll stick with the same type of formatting, put brackets around the negatives. If I put another semicolon here, it means anything to the right of this semicolon represents how I want to present a zero. For a zero, I would like a dash. So I'll put in speech marks with a space, a dash, and close my speech marks, and hit OK. Now for zero, all I see is the dash. Again, it's that simple. You just need to play around with it. One more trick. What if I want to show this 10,000 as a 1,000? Because everything is in thousands. Well, you can do that quite simply by highlighting the information. Format cells. Custom. Again, we'll choose the same type of formatting and be consistent so everything's the same and put something for the zero and now what we're going to do is put a comma and it shows you up here in the sample how that's going to look and a comma there and now that shows us 10 because I've made it work in thousands the best way to learn more on custom format of numbers is really to try it yourself and experiment with what Excel can do. Again, the best menu to use is the Format Cells menu and use the Custom, Currency or Number options. See you in the next video.